I knew I wanted to play volleyball in an elite level when I was in eighth grade. Um, that was when I had to choose between softball and volleyball. And I just knew deep down that I wanted to play volleyball and it was probably going to get me the farthest in life. So, so far it's served me well and hopefully I can keep it going. I used to play football. I was a lineman. I was a nose guard. And there got to a point where my dad sat me down and was like, look, you can't do this anymore. You're not going to make it to the NFL. So there are a lot of tears and I ended up pursuing softball. And I didn't really like softball at first because I wasn't in control of the game. So that's why I decided I want to be a pitcher. And when I decided I want to be a pitcher, that's when I fell in love with the game. I think it just was kind of a natural thing. My dad started looking into the next level meets, like like the New Balance and you know doing stuff like that. Uh, and um, you know I was getting invited to go run meets overseas, so it, it kind of just followed in the path that I was already you know, starting on. I knew I wanted to play when you know just seeing it start to take off and see women's soccer start to be really big in the United States. Um, you know it was really big for women to to be in sports in general and I knew I wanted to represent soccer. The turning point when I knew I wanted to pursue my sport in an elite level was when you know I just really found out that I really loved the game and I played other sports just to see you know how they were but basketball was just really the one that I've always loved. I guess the turning point was um, when I got into the really like longer races and I realized how much more I loved those than I liked the shorter races, I guess I figured I'd want to be part of that. Well, the things I miss most about being a kid is not having to do my own laundry, cartoons, um, not really you know, having to care about what you look like when you go out. <laughs> Hard work is a lesson that I think everyone has to learn at some point, and not everything is given to you easily. Uh, growing up, I was 6'2". I've been six foot since like sixth grade, so things have come pretty naturally and easily to me. And um, to not have everything handed to me when I actually had to start working hard for things, that was a really hard lesson to take hold of. It. I guess just a little less responsibility. You know, as an adult, you have to. All your actions are your responsibility now. When you were younger, you know, you could fall back on your parents. You can, you know, make excuses now. Everything falls on you, and you know you just have to be accountable. The lack of stress. There's a lot more pressure put on you now than there was when I was running in the youth ages. Like nobody really expected a whole bunch out of you, and now they now they do a little more. Playing for fun. I remember my mom coaches volleyball, and I remember telling my mom one time she came home struggling with her team, and I was like, Mom, look, like my football coach just tells me to go out there and have fun and play and just have fun doing it and sometimes I get really caught up in the competition and I forget to have fun and when I have fun that's when I play my best. One thing people might not know about me is that I can uh, wiggle my ears. You see that one? A little bit? A little bit? All right. I'm very into performing arts. I love to act. <laughs> I took drama in high school for three years and I love it so um, yeah that's something that people don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of crazy about cats and I like to read. I have so many lucky charms. It's incredible. Um, I mean I have bracelets on bracelets. I have to put my right boot on before my left boot. I have to take a pre-game shower. It's kind of where my zone is. I have lucky socks. Um, one's polka dotted and always goes on the uh, left foot and one's just straight yellow. And then uh, pre-race rituals I have my legs rubbed by my dad <laughs> and I eat fruit snacks. So yeah. <laughs> my pre-race ritual would be uh, I guess they call it the Baxter Boogie. I do this shakeout thing before my races. I've been doing it since I was really little. My dad has a St. Christopher's necklace that his father gave him a long time ago, and I wear it every game. That's my lucky charm. Pre-competition ritual, I love to listen to just pumped up music, and um, honestly, before every game, I'm probably gonna paint my nails because during club, I never got to paint my nails. I have to take a pre-game nap, and I always put my left Left sock on for my right sock and my left shoe for my right shoe. Ooh, my favorite flavor of Gatorade. Even though I like all flavors, I really like lemon lime. Strawberry watermelon. I like all the like original flavors. I like orange and um, like the strawberry and um, the, I think it's cool blue. Yeah, so those <laughs> those are my favorite. Favorite flavor of Gatorade is cool blue, the light blue color for sure. My favorite flavor of Gatorade is definitely blue. I'm Lauren Carlini. 
I'm Kendall Williams. I'm Mercedes Russell. I'm Sarah Baxter. I'm Morgan Andrews. And I'm Rick